Hello, so welcome back to our explanation and understanding of Zener diode. So as you can see in this Zener diode, uh, this is a schematic in which we see a Zener diode, how it looks. So here, this ring over here in both of this schematic, that indicates your cathode. So that indicates your cathode and uh, other end of this diode is an anode so as you can see that uh, here a symbol is given and the symbol can be differentiated from the symbol of a normal diode so in a normal diode you draw the symbol like this you have a cathode and you have an anode but here you have a slight modification that is shown over here okay so having said that we see that this terminal is a cathode and this terminal is an anode indicated by the negative and the positive signs to those terminals so when this zener diode is forward bias it means you put a positive voltage on the anode and negative voltage on the cathode it conducts the current in a forward bias just similar to a normal diode so in that case it is same as normal diode however the speciality of this diode is that it conducts a current when it is reverse bias and that is how it is used so you see now when it conducts the current in a reverse bias it means it conducts the current from cathode to anode and that's why this arrow shows that and that current is indicated by iz that is the zener current and it has a negative signs so that shows the current will flow from cathode to anode so in a detailed view we will see the iv curve or the current voltage characteristics of this diode to understand it more better stay tuned